people welcome back to salt and light with kj i'm kj and i'm in new york um so for those of you watching and don't know which is probably everybody because nobody knows me yet i am from new york um and i moved to tulsa last year in october of 2022 um and now i'm home for the week visiting my family babysitting my brother as my parents go to town um and yeah, I'm in New York, so this is gonna be a New York vlog of just a peek into what my life was like here in New York um, and how different it is in Tulsa. Not, not that much different, but different. Um, so I landed last night. Right now, I'm literally just making breakfast. I also forgot my tripod, which was not a smart move. I like filmed me packing up and like getting ready to go and then walked out the door without my tripod. So yeah, I am back home in New York. I am filming on my front camera because again, I don't have my tripod. I apologize for the quality, but it's looking pretty good, honestly. The lighting in my house is decent. Actually, the, the lighting in my house in New York is excellent. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. It's really good lighting. <laughs> it's really good lighting. Um, so I'm thinking that the quality would be good. But anyway, right now I'm just making breakfast. Um, I'm depending on whether or not I wanna work out. So I could because we have like a little gym room with like a Peloton and like some weights and stuff. Um, so I could work out, but I'm also like, I could just get back to working out when I go back to Tulsa. Um, but I don't want to throw off my momentum, you know, so I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen today, but it may happen at some time this week. Um, I'm going to hop in the shower right after I eat breakfast. I'm going to, actually, I think I'm burning my baby. I'm going to, um, hop in the shower, wash my hair while I'm in the shower and twist it up. I have a video to edit. Um, I could I have a video to finish editing. It's literally just like adding music and adding like a close into the video. Um, I need to start editing this one because it's going to be a longer one. I captured it quite. Oh, I can't talk. Am I hungry? I captured quite a bit of footage yesterday. Um, so I want to start editing that because this is going to be a week vlog, a week long vlog. What is happening? This is gonna be a week long vlog, so I want to start editing it because editing can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. So I want to get that under wraps. I think I'm actually I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm gonna twist it up, and then I'm gonna head to this coffee shop that I used to go to all the time. Um, just for a little nostalgia moment. I'm gonna head there, I'm gonna finish editing that video and just like do some other things that I need to take care of, some like administrative things that I need to do. Um, and then the rest of my day is pretty much that I need to go to my storage out here because I left all of my summer, um, all of my summer and spring clothes. So I need to go get those because it's heating up in Oklahoma and girl, I like to have my toes out <laughs> and all of my sandals are here. So I'm probably gonna do that today also. Um, but then I also have plans to like meet up and see some of my friends. Actually, I need to text one of my friends and see like what she's doing. I'm about to eat breakfast and then I'll see you guys. Maybe when I'm twisting my hair, we'll see. But I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished eating my breakfast and I had to come and talk about my nails because I was just like, they look so good. So I've been on a press on kick for probably the last five months since the top of the year, I wanna say. Um, and press ons have literally just had me in a chokehold. Actually, I was thinking about a video the other day, like five things that have currently have me in a chokehold. Press ons is one of them. But I got these from Walmart and they look so good. I wish the camera would focus on them. I probably should record this with my back camera, but they look so good. They have like this nice, let's see, this beautiful like mirror effect. I want to say the brand was called Magnetic, but the box is back home in Tulsa. 
but I was just sitting here admiring them like they look so good they're so sturdy like the past couple days I have been doing a lot with my hands packing cleaning on laundry all, traveling across the country <laughs> all types of stuff and they have not budged and they just look so good my cuticles need to be cleaned up a little bit but they look really good they fit well like I'm just obsessed they're so cute I wish they came in other colors like this is like a silver maybe like a dark mauve type color I would love it in like a little pink or maybe even like a soft blue just like some other colors but they're so cute at first i was like "Ooh, i don't know if i like them because i'm not a shimmery nail type of girl but after a couple days i put them on on sunday today is tuesday i put them on on saturday today is tuesday i'm just like they look so good so i had to come on here and show y'all my nails i will try and find a link um on walmart or i'm just gonna google the name and see where i can find the link and i'll put it in the description box below if you are a press on girl for me like if you why well, i can't talk yo what's happening I have a, am i having a stroke <laughs> what's going on if you are a press on girl like me definitely check these out they're so cute i did reshape them a little bit they were a bit more like almond shape and less like stiletto I wanted them to be more like a hybrid type shape, a little bit of almond, a little bit of stiletto. Um, so they are a little bit more rounded when you get them. I just reshaped them and they're a little bit longer. Um, I took them down a little bit um, and reshaped them to be a bit pointier just because I felt like it matched the style of the nail more. Um, but yeah, I will drop the link to them below. I'm just obsessed. I think they're so cute. That truck was really loud wow okay it shook the house and everything um <laughs> but i will put the link in the description box to them because i'm just obsessed and i used to be one of those girls that would go to the nail salon and like loved it like have a blast like that was my self-care thing um but between moving and between not having a car to get to a nail salon never actually finding a nail salon and then now like trying to figure out my income and all that. Press-ons have been a savior for my nails because they can still be cute and very much affordable. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there for the girls. Um, that link will be in the description. Okay, hair is washed. I've twisted most of my hair. I don't need to do chunky to twist. I just feel like that's the, like, that's the look that I like. Um, I just have this back section left. And I've been using this Mayel Curl Def Defining Mousse. Um, okay, I was talking to I was talking to Big Talk in the beginning, <laughs> but I like this mousse. Um, it really helps. Ooh, it really helps bring my curls out, which I like. I'm gonna show y'all in a second because it don't take much at all. But then I just got off the phone. My mom come to find out she made me a hair appointment with my cousin, so. This video may end with me with a 26 inch bust down middle part. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna finish these twists and then I'm gonna go to this hair factory and see what their hair looking like. Um, Cause my cousin's on the way to come do my mom's hair. I didn't realize that. Okay, so I knew like my mom made me an appointment but I was like, girl, I ain't trying to spend that for real. And she was like, obviously I made the appointment. I was gonna pay for it. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> so anyway, we do it, it's getting figured out. This may all be pointless, um, but it may not be because if they don't have the type of hair that I want, I'm not about to just spend money on it just because. Like, mm. uh, anyway, look at these curls. Like, okay, define the moose. When you said definition, you meant it. Um, so that's cute. Also, if they have just like a V part wig, I might just get a V part wig, but I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna find me a little bit of lunch. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it all figured out. I have no earrings on on the internet. Lord, help me. That's one of my biggest pet peeves, not having earrings in. Like when I see people that have ear holes, and don't have earrings in, it irks my nerves. Just, why don't you have earrings in? 
maybe that's the old woman in me. Because both, like all the women in my family are very, very put together girl. <laughs> Almost to a dramatic point, but very like, you a woman, you need to be together. Um, so when I see people with no earrings, I'll be like, I'm not saying that earrings define you. It's just one of those like weird pet peeves that I have. So I'm gonna put in my earrings because that irks my nerves. Anyway, this is what this list looks like. My hell. Okay, girl, I see you. Um, but nobody else may <laughs> because I may be getting a soul in. Or have a wig on my head by the end of the night. Oh, is my nail chipped? Oh no. Dang, and I just raved. I did just wash my hair though, so I guess. Anyway, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, so this is the next day. It's like 6.44. Um, I did get the sewing. As you can see, it's very cute, very long and curly. I wanted to go for like beach look. I'm very ready for summer and I wanted to give summer. I did do leave out um, and I just break. So when I put the sewing in, um, my cousin who does my hair, she crimped it with a crimper and then to keep it overnight I just did like two braids in the front you can kind of tell the difference Ooh. <laughs> you can kind of tell the difference in the curl patterns like this is the part that I braided and then I left the back out but moving forward I definitely think that I'm going to just braid the whole head because I really like the way this uniform curl looks um and you can kind of tell like where my leave out ends and where it starts. You can tell more on camera than you can in person, which I think is interesting. Um, but anyway, who really cares? Cause it looks good, honestly. It looks great. I do think I'm gonna add a clip in right, right in here, even though there's honestly not a lot of space, but I think a clip in like right underneath here, um, just to give me a little bit more fullness in the face frame. Is definitely what I'm going for. Um, so yeah, I literally didn't do much today at all. Ooh, why is that open? I literally did not do much today at all besides I went to this little coffee shop to get breakfast this morning and then I sat around basically all day. I took my parents to the airport because they're going to Lovers and Friends this weekend. Um, and that's really it. I just kind of hung out. I was supposed to be editing a video, but my iPad was dead and I just never got around to putting it on the charger. Honestly, it's really edited. I just need to put like a backtrack to it and create a thumbnail and then upload it. I'll do that tomorrow. Right now, I'm just waiting for my friend. He's about to pick me up so we can go to dinner, uh, which is very exciting because when I spoke to him early today, why am I out of breath? <sighs> Okay, when I spoke to him earlier today, um, he shared some very exciting news with me that I'm super excited about, um, and he's going to be sharing it with the rest of his family, I think. I'm not sure. They may already know. I don't know, um, but he's on his way to come pick me up so that we can talk more about those details because it's honestly very exciting. Not that y'all know him um, or I would ever expose him, but he's... Um, going to propose to his girlfriend, which is so exciting. I'm also like, wow, that's crazy. Like, we are at that age. We're like, he's my second friend to get married, which is blowing my mind. Um, like, my other friend that's married is, like, working on a baby. He's getting married. So, I'm like, we're really at that age. When you think about it, I turn 28 in, like, two weeks. I turn 28 next week. Anyway, <laughs> which is up the street from 30, as I like to say. Um, so it's just crazy to think that we are at that age at this point in life. 
But anyway, again, I didn't do much today. I took out those two braids. I took my parents to the airport. Um, and that's about it. I put a little bit of mousse on this hair. Um, I think I could have put a little bit more, but also it's like a family dinner situation. I'm like, girl, you ain't, you don't really got to do too much for real. Like, I think it looks good enough for a Thursday night dinner with the family, you know? And if my soulmate happens to be at that restaurant, baby, this is good. This is good. She gets better. She does get better, but this is good. Like, anyway. Um, so yeah, I am about to just finish getting dressed. I'm pretty much dressed. I just need to put on my jacket and my shoes. Um, oh, and I'll show y'all what I'm wearing because I'm just doing like a simple, like, basically all black, black and white-ish look. Um, nothing too crazy. Again, it's Thursday and it's like a family dinner situation that I got <laughs> invited to last minute. So, obviously, I wasn't going to go when he first asked. I was like, eh, you going with your family. Like, it's cool. Like, I'm here for a couple more days. Like, we can link up at any time. But then he shared his news, and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come come, come, pick me up, um, and we're going to discuss this because this is amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to finish getting dressed. And, oh, I just realized that I've been looking this way the whole time, and I should have been looking at the camera. Anyway, I'm working on getting better at this, um, but I'm going to finish getting dressed and then I'll show y'all the final look. Uh, maybe you can give me some pasta. Let's cut that out because I actually never went to Target. So that is just, it doesn't need to be there. I'm about to head to the thrift store to see if I can find a blazer. I already have shoes. I already have jeans. Possibly a, a top. I already have um, shoes. I really already need have a blazer to go with that bag. Look. Even if I can find a little purse. I'll do a little purse. A little I purse. Target, but again, I am falling on the budget. I'm really trying to spend more than If I could find a little purse. I'm going to the thrift store. Um, I'm hilarious. And again, I only need. Okay, so. If y'all have yet to watch it, make sure you watch it. It's from like two weeks ago. <laughs> uh, but it was a cool little time. I basically just took y'all on a hunt with me to find an outfit for this event that I went to. The outfit turned out cute. Um, so yeah, um, today is gonna be a pretty chill day. I still have yet to eat breakfast and it's like 1.30. Oh, it's one, it's one thirteen. Um, I have yet to eat breakfast. When I'm here, I don't be doing the best. <laughs> anyway, I, um, I'm not doing too much today. I need to get this vlog up. Um, I need to go to the storage unit to get some stuff that I left here. I still have all my summer clothes here. Majority of my shoes are still here. So I'm gonna go pack those up and bring those back here so I can take them back to Tulsa with me. Um, I wanna go get my toes done also. I'm thinking about going to get my little cousin to take her with me to get my toes done. So I might do that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I know I need to eat breakfast first though. Also, the hair. So in the, like a couple clips ago, I said that I was gonna braid all of it and this is what it looks like. I don't know, I kinda like it, but I'm also like, I like the natural curl. Um, but I also just like this like long, like free tresses. What am I saying? Anyway. I just like the way it looks. So I may keep it, I may keep with the braiding. Um, I'm also gonna try to see what it looks like if I twist it overnight, like wet it, twist it overnight. Um, 
can see how that looks and how that comes out. I also put a little bit of mousse on my hair because the back of my head was like frizzing up a little bit. I put some mousse back there and I think it turned out pretty well. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's not very frizzy anymore. Um, so I'm gonna keep experimenting on how to like keep this leave out blended well so that I can't be, you know, spotted out here in these streets but i'm really loving this hair i'm really glad that i did it at first i wasn't gonna do it i washed my hair and i was just gonna do like a twist out i think i recorded that yes i recorded me twisting my hair i was just gonna do a twist out and then my mom was like oh i'm gonna pay for you to get your hair done say less girl <laughs> um but i'm really glad that i did it i really am i know it's like christian women some people feel like funny about sewings and stuff girl not me not me <laughs> i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put the 24 inch bundles in okay middle part bust down you feel me um but i'm really glad that i put it in it's very cute um and i used to wear my hair like this all the time like late high school college years i used to wear my hair like this maybe i'll insert some photos I think about it i think about it um but i used to wear my hair like this all the time literally in this exact style sometimes a middle part sometimes a side part but like this was my signature like long curly you know wavy this was my signature um so i'm glad to be getting back to this also this style makes going to the gym so easy like i can just put some braids in the front to keep my leave-in down put a little bit of mousse on the top tie it down while i'm in the gym wait till it dries take it off and it'll be still you know silky like this um and then i can also like pull it up to get it off my neck because we went to her in her neck at the gym nobody um so yeah i'm excited about this and i just set a new gym goal that i want to lose five pounds by the end of the month nothing crazy nothing crazy because i realized that like setting goals when it comes to working out and going to the gym like that's the wrong motivation my motivation needs to be just consistency like my motivation needs to be just um like being consistent with the habit because honestly i'm gonna have to work out the rest of my life like it, it is what it is if i want to stay healthy especially with all the junk that they put in the food these days, especially the way I like to eat food, okay? I'm gonna have to work out for the rest of my life. Um, so my overall goal is honestly just to be consistent. Um, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna add a little challenge for the month of May and see if I can lose five pounds by the end of the month. If I lose 10, great. If I can lose 15, wonderful. Um, but just something a little light, just to keep things interesting. I honestly probably won't keep that up for the rest of the year though again just because my overall goal is to be consistent so when i get back to tulsa i have to go to the grocery store because i don't the only thing i have in my fridge is like a cabbage and some carrots that i never cooked i was supposed to juice the carrots i just never got around to juicing them um i didn't think that through when i got them because i'm like girl you're gonna leave them all week um, you're not gonna even make sense. So I left them raw because they'll last longer that way than if I juice them. So when I get back, I'm gonna juice those and I have a cabbage in there that I need to cook. It should still be good when I get back. Cabbage has a long shelf life. Um, and then I need to pick up like protein and stuff. Um, and really tighten up my nutrition. Um, because the workouts, I'll be in the gym, like getting it in. The workouts are there. Um, but I do need to tighten up my nutrition. That'll help me get those five pounds off by the end of the month. Um, so yeah, I don't remember how I got here, but I do know that I need to eat breakfast like now, speaking of food. So I'm gonna eat breakfast. I'm gonna create the thumbnail for this video and then yeah, I'll catch y'all later. If I go to get a pedicure and pick up my little cousin, maybe I'll record some of that. I don't know, we'll see child, we'll see. Seating 